We're Liz and Dennis, food-loving, adventure-seeking junkies who live and travel full-time in our renovated Class C RV, Maggie. After spending 11 months in Mexico over the past year, we're back in the USA, spending our summer RVing through Michigan. Unfortunately, our first week in the Great Lakes state didn't exactly go as planned, as we dealt with wild weather and a few RV hiccups. But this week, things are looking up, and we finally get a taste for what Michigan summers are all about, as we celebrate the 4th of July and go on a wild and extreme sand dunes adventure. Awesome. Welcome to Muskegon. We are very excited to have arrived to this beautiful city and have the opportunity to show you around over the next week. Well, we're gonna be starting our trip here at the Farmer's Market, one of our favorite ways to explore and I think kind of get a, a vibe for what the city has to offer and Muskegon is coming in strong with our Farmer's Market. This place is massive. We're here on a Saturday around 10.30 and I'm pretty sure we are very late to the game. There is every type of thing you could ever imagine and we're super pumped to start exploring. challenge begins of trying to fit all of the stuff we just bought from the farmer's market into our fridge. We'll make it work. But we're gonna be doing a lot of cooking over the next few days with so much goodies we got from the market. That was one of the best markets I think I've been to in a very long time. Definitely the best out of Michigan so far. But we're gonna be putting this stuff away rather quickly because we have another fun activity planned for the day. Well, the food truck festival was a bust. One thing that's not a bust is our campground. We are at Muskegon State Park, which is about 20 to 25 minutes outside of downtown Muskegon. This weekend is Independence Day here in the United States, which means people are celebrating in full force. There's gonna be major fireworks show tonight, and our spot is a pretty perfect place to enjoy. In the last video, we told you that we were meeting back up with our friends Karen and Greg, but if you're new to the channel, you probably have no idea who they are. We ended up meeting Karen and Greg in Mexico. They live there, they have a home in Merida as well as the Cisal. We ended up spending several weeks with them and then ended up traveling back into the United States from Mexico with them. And while they're trying to make their journey back to Canada, they are spending some time with us traveling Michigan. They're awesome people. They're working on this big project in Campeche that we wish we had the money to back us to be a part of. Unfortunately, it's not in our cards right now. If you're interested, we'll have information so you can meet them. You can see what's going on in Campeche. They're awesome people. And they just bought this new rig. We're gonna be showing you guys shortly. It's a pretty sweet van. Out of 
During our stay in Michigan, pretty much for the rest of our trip, we're mostly going to be staying in state parks. And we chose state parks because RV camping can be really expensive at a formal RV park. They're anywhere from $45 to $75 a night. And you are packed in there like sardines most of the time. So definitely not our preferred way of camping. We love free camping if there's public lands. That is always our number one choice. But unfortunately, on the East Coast, it's just not as abundant or available as it is over on the West Coast. So unlike last summer where we pretty much went two and a half months paying for a campground like one or two times, this month we're probably going to be free camping like one or two times. Thankfully, Michigan has a great online booking system for their state parks. So we just regularly checked for cancellations and kind of pre-planned our route. Very unlike us, we don't also normally plan. We, we like to kind of go with the flow and figure it out as we're going. Have a little spontaneity in our life, but this trip, with it being peak summer, Michigan's a hot spot in, in this season, we felt it was best to have a place to stay where we knew we would be comfortable. So in Muskegon State Park, where we're currently staying, we only were able to secure a spot for three nights before having to move to another one for the remainder of our stay. And since Michigan State Parks don't have water or dumps at the sites, that means we can fill up before we return. As much as it is annoying to have to switch sites, we did need to pull out and refill our fresh and dump our gray, so. We still have yet to go in any of the lakes. And I think today's the day. It's warm outside. I think today's water temperature is 68 degrees, which is still very chilly. We're gonna do it. Ooh, the wind is the cold part now. One, two, three, four, five. No, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes. See, it's not that bad. Whoa, it's freezing. <laughs> it's not that bad. She's lying. It's bad. These guys are very dramatic. See, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. See? It's lovely. Truth is, is I was already in. It's really freaking cold. <laughs> and they're Canadian. You'd think they'd be used to this. Cold water is actually very good for you. King in it, another great YouTube channel, loves cold water therapy and seeks out cool spots to swim in much colder water than this all the time. So, a little inspiration from them. It feels good. We can say that we swam already, so we don't have to do this as we go further north. Oh, we're for sure <laughs> doing this more as we go further north. But today is actual 4th of July, Independence Day, which yesterday ended up being um, quite a, quite a day for people around the campground. Not so much for us, we had a lovely day. We got to watch the fireworks, but the campers next to us ended up getting into a fight at one in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning. We got like no sleep. It was ridiculous. So please, if you're ever camping, don't be those people. Control how much you consume. It's not a good look. Today, there are so many boats out here again, but the beach is not as crowded, thankfully. The, I think the campgrounds lost a lot of the, the partiers for the weekend. I feel like this is what we were waiting for. The weather could not be more perfect. The state park has kind of calmed down after this weekend's madness, and there's pretty much no one here. It's perfect. There's one super small loop in the channel side campground that is right on the beach and the lake. If you are able to snag one of these spots, do it. It's gorgeous. I wish we had this spot for this evening. sand is like softer than at Great Sand Dunes, but it feels exactly the same. Just calf deep every time you take a step. <laughs>
Wonderful. It ended up being way longer than we expected, but it was so nice walking back along the beachside. It just had all the summer vibes. And then of course walking through the forest just was so refreshing to be back in like a woodsy setting and to smell all the smells and hear all the animal noises. It was a really great way to spend the day for sure. But we did not eat before our hike. Per usual, we did not plan. And we we're starving. So I'm gonna whip us up some food. Little Instapot hack. If you have an Instapot or don't have an Instapot, you should. They're awesome. But if you do five minutes on pressure cook for your eggs and then you let it naturally release for five minutes and put it in an ice bath for five minutes, you get the perfect hard boiled egg and they are so easy to peel. Game changer. You're welcome. But the Instapot does not, however, keep it from smelling like a big fart in your RV after you cook hard boiled. Voila! I made a quick little egg sandwich salad. So without the bread. Sans bread. Deconstructed egg salad sandwich. <laughs> Deconstructed egg salad sandwich is a good way to put it. But I put curry and avocado mayonnaise for the egg. Should be a nice treat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And on the lettuce, I used lime. And we had a green chili oil, so it kind of has a spice to it. It's good. And what a healthy way to finish a hike. Mm-hmm. How far do you think we went today? I bet we did like seven miles today. No? It was probably, it was way longer than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. That normally happens. We should have, we, we, ha we haven't learned from our lessons yet. Mm. We are heading out of Muskegon State Park today, but we have something really exciting planned for our next stop. But first, we gotta do some errands. It's so eerie today. The fog is crazy. You can't even see the lake as we're driving. So we made it to Silver Lake last night. And this place is interesting because it's a little rowdy. And the reason for that is there's a lot of ORVers, off-road vehicle people, which is kind of the draw for Silver Lake. Silver Lake itself is a smaller lake that's separated from Lake Michigan by a giant dune. And you can actually take off-road vehicles and haul ass over the dunes all over the place, which is exactly what we're about to do. So we're teaming up with Wild Bill ATV Rentals today. They're hooking us up with a couple of side-by-side -side razors, and we're gonna go check out these dunes. Downside is it's 8.30 in the morning and it's misting. I don't think it's rain. I think it's fog misting. I wish it was a little sunnier, but hey, we're not gonna let the weather stop us from having a good time. All right. Ah. I'm so excited about this. They said every time a camera's involved, there's a rollover. Not today. Not today. At no time should you guys be flying around at full speed out there. Is that is very dangerous. There's drop-offs, and as you see when you get out there, there's a lot of driftwood and stumps and things laying around and such. These soft tires are easy to roll over. If you turn sharp and fast, you're gonna roll over. It happens almost every day. So make sure you're slowing down before you make any kind of a turn. The next guy's already 
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I would say I'm a little nervous at this point. <laughs> the real problem you have is her. Pretty girls make this thing go faster. Oh, really? I'm not gonna say I'm nervous. I've just never driven one of these before, so I don't really know what to expect. Let's do it. It is definitely an adrenaline rush. Oh yeah. Oh my God, some of these dunes are huge and, and it's like you literally crest the hill and all of a sudden it's this huge decline down and it's so intense. Yeah. I know this <sighs> video isn't gonna do it justice, but just know like it's adrenaline rush like big time and- It is so it, worth it. But it feels super safe though. Like obviously if you're a nutball, you can get dangerous because these things are plenty capable of doing anything you want pushing it to the limits but uh nah man this is super cool <laughs> it was so much fun though that i am like a little bit nervous i think i worked myself up i i'm doing a bathroom break <laughs> luckily they have bathrooms here but then we're gonna go rip it some more I really didn't think I was gonna enjoy this this much. Get a razor with Wild Bill's ATVs. 
It's awesome. Yes. Whew. We are back at the house. And I think we're gonna call the vlog here. I'm like, I just am, sm I can't stop smiling yeah, from that experience. Oh, it was so amazing. Muskegon was a great little town. We had a wonderful Independence Day weekend. And I feel like we are off to a really great start now for Michigan. From here, it's only gonna go uphill, hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my expectations low just so I don't get disappointed, but Michigan is definitely catching momentum and uh, it just keeps getting more and more beautiful the, the farther, farther north we go. So we have more great stuff coming to you next week. We have amazing things planned. So we're really excited to share them with you. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. If you like this video, let us know by giving it a like. And of course, leaving your thoughts in the comments. We love engaging with you guys and we do read each and every comment. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Whoa. This is incredible. This is not the fun part about winging it, especially in peak season. We're in our happy place. I am in a sweater and it's July. What? Where am I? That was so much fun. Oh, my face is like, Oh, I'm really cold though. We're gonna take a shower. Get the sand off us, get warm. We're gonna take a shower in the RV. Wild Bill's parking lot. Wild Bill's parking lot, baby. Nothing like a good old shower in a parking lot. <laughs> oh my God, it was so much fun though. Thank you.